Savannah from Write the Record here. Welcome to my singles review for this week. First, we have a new song from Korn's upcoming album, Rakim or Queem, I'm never too sure how to say that, called Forgotten. It's what you'd expect from Korn sans the Jonathan Davis scatting. Forgotten is the second single from the new album, kind of giving a larger idea of what to expect. It starts off with the main guitar riff over some light percussion, but you know it's going to explode into a bass heavy intro any minute, which it does. The verse kicks in rather quickly and gets the ball rolling and doesn't feel like any time is being wasted thus far. I like this. The background vocals during the verses at a contrasting easiness compared to the upcoming heavy chorus. The solo guitar before the bridge is a nice breath of fresh air. The vocals don't sound as angry or loud as I would have expected, and I actually really enjoy that. Sort of reminds me of their song Falling Away From Me, again, without the scatting. The production on this song sounds pretty good with the spanning guitar under the chorus. I like how the song doesn't fade out, rather it ends at the end of a chorus line. I enjoyed it. And it's going on the playlist. Next, Bastille's fifth single from their February 2022 release, Give Me the Future, called Shot Off the Lights. I'm gonna be honest and say, I'm not sure I've ever heard Bastille before, although I am familiar with the band name. Maybe I have without knowing it. From the start of this song, I felt like I was going to involuntarily sway to the beat. I was not wrong. I can see this being a pretty big song, at least in a TV commercial of some kind, something like that. The vocal melody throughout the verse really gives me Alanis Morissette You Oughta Know vibes, like, completely. A saxophone comes in at the end of the track, and it's really nice that it wasn't used earlier in the song. It helps it stick out beyond the rest of the music. The collective humming that precedes the sax really gives this some nice energy and is worthy of any praise it gets. It's not odd that I enjoy pop music, but this isn't what I usually like. This one, playlist bound. Alex Lifeson of Rush has embarked on a new project called Envy of None. I do think it's a little unfair to call this his new band, as the other members are talented in their own right. The first single from their April 2022 debut album is called Liar, and it's definitely a departure from what you might think this should sound like. It's pretty electronics heavy, but the vocals lead you over it in a pleasing way. It's not droning, but it is pretty similar throughout. Little glimpses of guitar, especially the acoustic in some places, is nice and adds contrast to the main booming riff. The song isn't very long, but to me it feels much shorter than it is. I do look forward to listening to the entire record, but unfortunately I'll have to wait till April for that. Anyone who thinks that this is an Alex Lifeson solo album is and will be greatly mistaken. It's not a solo album and likely won't have the guitar-driven sound that you'd expect from an album by a guitar player. I will listen with an open mind, but thus far, it's going on the playlist. That's it for me today. Make sure you check out all these singles. I'm a fan and I hope you end up liking these as well. Follow us on Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, all the good places. Links are down below in the description, along with links to these singles. Until next week, this has been Savannah's Single Review. Bye-bye.